Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the 22-23 Europa League jersey review. Yes, it's a bit late thanks to the World Cup. We are entering the quarterfinal stage as I'm uh, recording this. But so be it, there are still some really nice jerseys to look at. It's a very eclectic mix. Actually, we have quite a few brands and uh, it's actually Adidas who have the most, most teams in here with seven. Then we have Nike with six and Puma Macron each with five and then a couple of uh, brands with two uh, or only one team. So that is exciting to have an eclectic mix. Also, we have a good selection uh, of countries in the countries that we usually don't uh, really talk that much on this channel. Now, within uh, this video, um, if there's a team that I've already covered, I will just give you the jersey and the grade. Uh, and if they have released me uh, since the last review a jersey, even if it's not one in the Europa League, I will briefly talk about that one. For teams that we have not covered yet or that are in smaller leagues, um, I usually will go through the entire set of jerseys. However, the whole thing might not be super precise because sometimes it's not very uh, clear which jerseys were worn where and, you know, it's, it's sometimes hard to research. All the pictures, the jerseys that I have in this video, I took from Football Kit Archive, link in the description below, uh, a page that I can highly recommend. I rate all these jerseys on a scale from one being the worst to 10 being the best. And uh, then we will go group by group. You see here all uh, the teams that we have here. Groups A and B will be in video one, groups uh, C and D in video two, uh, E and F in video three, and G and H in video four. And so I would say, let's get started with groups C and D. So we're looking at Roma, Ludo Goretz, Betis, the team I'm wearing, uh, HJK from Helsinki, Braga, Malmö, Union Berlin and Union saint gilloise So quite an eclectic mix there. And we'll start with probably the biggest name uh, in here, which is Ice Roma, a team that we already looked at in the Serie A jersey review. I really like that home jer jersey, the half half look with the pattern in there. Last one for New Balance already. Uh, so that was a nine star. We have the away jersey. Um, rather simple, nothing special. I gave it only a four star. The third jersey has some interesting ideas and especially the switching crest between the ASR logo and the uh, regular logo. However, the pink and black and what's the pattern? I only gave this three and we had also a special jersey, which I'm not sure was ever worn in a game, probably some friendlies during the World Cup. Uh, it's an interesting uh, dyed pattern. So I gave this seven stars. But Roma have also issued a proper fourth jersey, which comes in green with the same uh, a crest, you know, very old style. I'm not sure now whether this is also uh, shape shifting uh, like the one on the third jersey. Yes, it is. So that is actually pretty cool. Uh, why green? One is asked. It is, of course, uh, one of the clubs that joined together in 1927 with some force from the Italian government to make a Roman team. And this is Sportiva Alba who played in green and white. So it's basically a legacy jersey. I think it's an interesting shirt. I do like this one better than I do like the third jersey. Uh, has also very understated design. The colors for Roma are weird. I do agree with that, but I like that they go back to an original club, a club like Sampdoria has done a few years ago as well. For that, I have to actually commend them. And to me, it's a seven star jersey. I think there is something about it that I really, really enjoy. As I said, it's all about the home jersey for Roma, uh, which is one of the best jerseys the Roma home jersey, regardless of my fact, is usually one of the best jerseys every season. Going over to Bulgaria, to the perennial uh, Bulgarian champions Ludo Goretz uh, being equipped by Nike. However, all standard fare. 
We've seen this type of jersey already with Elche uh, as an away jersey. I have, have to say, if I do like it for Ludo Goretz. I like the green base and then the kind of interesting sleeves. And it also fits very nice with the uh, crest on there. So uh, that actually is not a bad one. Is it exciting? No, but I think it looks better than the most. I'm actually going to go seven here, believe it or not. Uh, the away jersey, also seen that one, I think, with Freiburg already, and we will see it in that uh, re review as well, with that crest. It works. Let's put it that, that way. I wish that the pattern was in green, though. Uh, not in black, uh, but you know, there is uh, the black from the eagle in the crest, so the, a little bit, 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 bit connection. It's your average fare. Uh, let's be frank, but you know, it's not a bad jer jersey per se, but I'm going to give it five. The where it breaks for me is, and this is the reversal almost of the Zurich shirt that we saw in the last video, video. The purple with the neon sleeves. I mean, if you make it all neon yellow, I think that would work much better than the purple. I don't understand it, uh, to be frank. And yeah, this. <sighs> There's a reason why it's rated so low all over. I'm gonna give this two stars. Let's go to the team that I'm wearing in the Real Betis, which we saw already in the uh, La Liga jersey review. Hummel releasing a really nice shirt, uh, green and white stripes with the triangles from the crest in there. Uh, that's one I've kind of earmarked. Yeah, I would like, like, like to have. I gave this one a nine star, really strong look. Uh, I even like the away jersey with the two bands of blue. Looks a little bit like a rug, rugby jersey. I wish maybe that the green and white on the inside is also on, on the a bit more pro uh, prominent on the collar, but it's an eight star jersey. And I even like the one with the world map on there in orange and green because I think it looks nice. was also an eight star. However, Betis have released two more jerseys. Uh, they have here a sustainability jersey in green uh, with gold, which looks like a little bit sold, like it has been recycled, it has been used. Uh, that's kind of the idea they want to get there. Um, I have to say this is not a bad shirt. Uh, I think this works probably, probably better as an alternate in a way as the other two. Maybe not because green and then, you know, green, uh, green, green and white. But it's very much bet this. I do like the idea behind it. Uh, so yeah, and also the golden accents work quite well. Um, I'm gonna give this a seven star. And then they have also released a cup jersey, which is of course only one in the Copa del Rey. Uh, also interesting stuff in there. I mean, it's now a green center band. Um, it's kind of an Ajax uh, look in a way. However, there is some very intricate pattern in the white, uh, very reminiscent of the Sevilla home jersey. Again, golden sponsors. Uh, it looks overall very well put together. I would probably have preferred green sleeves on that one, you know, to have a little bit more green, not that this is a white jersey with a green center band. Maybe that, that's the one thing that I uh, don't go uh, full, uh, full, full, fully agree with it. However, it's still a uh, really, nice looking jersey especially the details this is a, i think a jersey that will look much better once you hold it in your own hands i'm also gonna go seven bet is having a rather strong look let's go up to the far north to helsinki um you this was the last season europa league's jersey i think it has been reused i'm not sure with or without sponsor to be honest uh it's a striped adidas jersey however um doesn't look bad doesn't look bad at all. There's also a little bit of tonal effect in the stripe. And given that the um, a boxed sponsor is just tape taped over, this would be just a regular uh, stripe. So in that sense, uh, it looks all fine to me. I'm, I think it's a six star on, on, on honestly. It's, it, it's a very decent Adidas template. If uh, Milan would, would have gotten something like that while when they were with Adidas, I would not have been unhappy. Let's put it, let's put it that way. Um, the away jersey in yellow, yeah, I guess makes sense. Nothing exciting overall. Let's face it, but it, it, it is also not a bad jersey. Um, I want to go five here. It's actually better than the body glimpsed ones uh, that we have seen previously. Let's move over to the other group with uh, SC Braga. 
also a Hummel team like we had with Betis. Um, this one is interesting, I have to say. It's the classic Braga look, Arsenal style. Um, maybe the white shoulders, um, you know, either go all white sleeves with the you know, it's not a raglan cut that so I find the white shoulders was a, little, a little bit odd. I do like the collar. Um, again, like last season, they have a um, pattern in there, kind of a stripe pattern. And I think this is probably a city map that is superimposed there, which makes kind of an abstract look. It looks at first a little bit odd, but once you look closer, uh, it's really a map and that makes it actually cool. Braga having, as of late, really nice jerseys. I got like I I I guess it's also some of my favorite jerseys in Portugal overall. I'm gonna give this an eight star. I even like the sponsor in 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 a way. It, it is uh, some dynamic with it uh, to be sure. Um, the away jersey has an unusual looking gray, but I I actually also don't like it. And look how the sponsor is just outlined. And although it may look messy, it actually works. In, in a way, I, I, this was the jersey where, where, before I got my Braga shirts, where I thought, oh, this might be actually the Braga shirt I'm going to get for, the, for, for, uh, for me. Uh, it will not be, but uh, the gray and then the, uh, the stripes, I think this looks pretty cool overall. It's also reflected in the crest. We could discuss centralized crest over those uh, sand stripes, but then, okay, of course, the crest also gets lost. So, you know, give or take. I also like that, that that one I'm gonna give this also eight stars. Hummel is usually doing a good job. Um, the third jersey is more uh, standard, although there is an interesting pattern in there. However, I cannot really make out what this pattern is. It is golden, which actually, uh, or a beige if you like, which fits actually well with the crest because on the top of the two towers, it's the same kind of shade. So it actually uh, works quite well there. The black is maybe, yeah, I mean, you need it to balance it out, I guess. It's the the least strong of the three of them. It's still a good one, but I'm only thinking six stars here, if we're honest. Moving on to Malmö, again, a northern team, a Puma team. Uh, interesting look overall uh it's the typically light blue malmö jersey but there's a pattern in there which i don't know why but i think there is a skyscraper malmö that looks similar to this one but i might be wrong there uh looks interesting overall it's a it's a rather standard look but you know uh, nothing flashy i would give it a seven star to uh, to be honest, um, the away jersey actually very classic look <laughs> in light blue. Uh, maybe you know uh, the one thing you should kind of take care of the shades of blue because they are, uh, the, the crest has a darker shade than this jersey. But can you ever get wrong with a pinstripe uh, look? I don't think so, especially if it's just a crew neck color. It is very very nice. Of course, it would be nice if that all moves around and is also featured on the back side however also seven stars you cannot really go wrong with that one uh the third jersey yeah here the colors don't work for me uh i know this is uh, three shades of blue in a way uh it just something doesn't quite connect with me overall gotta say um where shall i go with this one uh, I want to go four, and then they had also a very interesting European third jersey. Do you remember the Puma range with no logo? Yeah, this is more or less this here, but also not quite because the crest is on there, but it's also it's very much sublimated on there. The shade of the blue is actually quite nice. However, I'm not so sure about the pink and white and the crest, the proper crest is just black on there. That also does not make a whole lot of sense to me. Uh, if this, if the crest was in pink, I might have still deducted it, but it would have fit better with the jer uh, the jersey. I think this is, uh, you know, it's a last season's template for sure. So I'm not sure if it, this has actually been worn this year, but you know, um, so be it. It's all right, but I do like it a little bit more than the pre uh, previous one, although the colors don't fit in. But I'm also going to give this a four star. Let's go to the cult club from Berlin, Köpenick. 
with Union Berlin with a striped home jersey. Well, not a typically Union Berlin look. I gave it this an uh, eight star and I actually do enjoy it. Again, the stripes are not broken. Really nice looking. Maybe the sleeves could have been striped as well. The away jersey with this sand color tone, not exactly to my liking. Um, it's a little bit bland. Also the, the crest, it looks all a little bit off. Uh, this is a four star to me, but I really like the third jersey in black with red and with a little bit of the specs in there. That is actually the one that I've seen most used uh, this season uh, as an all alternate. It makes total sense that they do it. Uh, it's actually pretty, pretty, pretty cool. I also gave this an eight star. And we finish it with the other Union, Union saint Gilles, one of the most interesting clubs in Europe at the moment. Uh, they have in-house uh, produced jerseys. Um, gotta say the home jersey is actually pretty cool with the yellow and the blue sleeves. It reminds me a little bit about uh, of Kievo Verona. But I have, have to say it all fits nicely together. I, I really like how the crest is just on there uh, in full color. This, uh, the, the crest has exactly this, 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 this colors, the sponsor. It all fits quite nice. Um, it's a decent jer uh, uh, jersey. It's not a standout in any way. But I would give this a 7. Um, the away jersey monochromatic crest this time but makes all sense with the club's colors uh again nothing outstanding but also it makes sense it looks all right i also would give this one a seven and then the third jer jersey uses the same idea here probably i would have wished for a full color color crest a little bit more yellow would have done well here so while i do like the colors a whole lot don't don't get, get me wrong i think the color combination is really really nice i think there's just a tad too much white for me so i'm gonna go one down with six and then we have a third jersey which suffer in black which suffers a little bit from the same uh problems i'm back and forth i think this, this is the one used mostly in europe um <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Belgian teams tend to play in black in Europe this, this, this season. It's not a bad, bad, bad one, but it's the one that I like least of all, 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 all of, of them. It's just average. Let's give it a five star. And we are done with part two of the Europa League jersey review. Please let me know which jerseys you enjoyed in here, which ones uh, you didn't, and also whether you agree with me or not. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and I will surely talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel and hitting the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!